Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to do a book review. And today's book is Space Boy. It's written by David Williams. It's the first time I'm reading one of his works and it's really great. Now let me read its synopsis for you. This book is set in the Americas during the 1960s. It's during the Cold War between America and Russia. It is also known as the Space Race. On a dusty old farm, a 12-year-old Ruth spends her night gazing at the stars. That's when she sees a UFO. And from that, it's a whole new supersonic adventure. It's a really great book, and I love it. They go through various settings, and the character development is really nice. Overall, the genre is like a kid's book with some adventure and some suspense. So the real mystery is that who's under the mask of Space Boy? So once readers know about the secret, they'll be a little disappointed, but the book overall is really great. The protagonists are well written, but the problem with this book is the antagonist. The antagonist has no real reason to be a villain. That's the only lagging thing in this book, but overall, as a kid's book, it's really, really good. And I like the story really much. It's compelling and you want to read it, but sometimes it's a little predictable. Um, when I ordered this book, I had a little more expectations than what I got, but actually, it's a really good book. Um, there are many sound effects in the text, which really adds the realistic feeling to it while you're reading, and it's overall a great reading experience. In this book, there are many characters. First of all, we have Ruth, one of our heroes. She is a 12-year-old girl who lives with her aunt, and her aunt is a very cruel person. So she's, her parents are dead, and she's living with her aunt, and she loves space. Next, we have her dog, Yuri. He's a three-legged dog who always listens to uh, Ruth, and he's the, she, he's the only friend to Ruth. Next, we have Aunt Dorothy. She's the guardian of Ruth, and she's really cruel. She always finds a way to punish her and make her life miserable. Next, we have the sheriff. He's the local sheriff of the town where Ruth lives, and he's always awaiting for an emergency situation where he can become a hero and show himself to the world in a boring town. Next, we have the President of the United States. Next, we have Major Majors. He's a very dedicated military general, and overall his character was great, but what I'm worried about is they didn't show it enough in the book. Next is Dr. Shock. He's the main villain in this book, or that's what they say, but actually he's not a very, you know, a villain at all. He's just a scientist who wants to win the space race for USA. He actually worked for the Germans during the World War II, but accidentally got burst up, and the US again put his body parts with robots and recreated his life. And now he works for the USA space agency, NASA. Finally, we get Space Boy himself. He's a mysterious, shadowy figure in a silver suit that Ruth finds inside the UFO she sees one night. And whatever comes next, you'll read it in the book. The ending was quite good, but I expected more. Next, what I need to tell you is about how I felt when reading this book. I had a little bit expectations when reading this book, but the story is a little bit bland, and I thought it could, uh, it could have a little more thrill to it, but it actually did a really good job. 
it was it's uh, pictures are very good and I like the overall writing. Um, if I want to rate this book, I'd give it an eight out of ten. And whether I would recommend you or not, if you're read, starting to read chapters and novels, I would totally recommend it to you. Even though some parts of the uh, book is a little bit bland, overall it's a great story. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.